Sam Hendrick here again from Bentley Systems to talk about and demonstrate the Import Points DBA. This is an incredibly powerful DBA. If you ever have a situation where you have text files or ASCII text files or CSV files with coordinate data and other information you need to bring into MicroStation, this is the tool for you. Now, this is such a powerful tool. It took me actually eight separate videos to discuss all of the functionality. Now, on the web page behind me, you're going to see there's where you can go and get it and download it. I'll put a link in the comments below. Now behind me, you can see the VBA. That's the dialogue for it. And then you'll see the different output two methods. There are seven of them, and I did a bonus one on top of that. So check the links down below for the other videos, and you can get to just the one that you want to see, because not all of them may apply to you. So let's go ahead, get started, check it out. In this first video, what we're going to look at is how we can use the import points VBA to read a CSV file that has coordinates and also tree names slash cell names. So what are we going to start with first? I'm going to drag over my CSV file. CSV files are just comma separated value files. I actually started this in Excel and exported it out to a CSV file. That's what the VBA wants to read. You can see across the top, I have three columns and I have headers, Northing, Easting, and Tree Name. It's advised that you put that in, not required, but it will make it easier for you because the VBA will read the header. You see in the Tree Name column, I have all these names for the trees, and to the left, I have their coordinates. These names will line up with cell names in my cell library a little bit later. You'll see that. So this is what I'm starting with. I'm going to be importing this in. So I'm going to move this over. I'm going to go to my utilities tab. I see my VBA manager. I'm going to click on this. This opens up the VBA projects dialog. Unload and then I'm going to load it again. Here's my import points VBA. On the top left, the first thing you do is select your source file. That's the CSV file I just showed you. I'm going to click on that. Now I've done this already. So I'm just going to choose from my history. And we'll close the VBA projects dialog. Here you see it read in and it's looking at the showing me the header names. That's why, again, it's a good idea to give your columns header row and names. Now, the next thing I need to do is tell it what do I want to output to or place in MicroStation. I have seven choices. The first one is cell and that's the one we're going to be doing first. The next button is select cell. I'm going to click on that. And there is a cell library. It's a DGN lib file that ships with the VBA. When you download it, there's three files in the zip file, the VBA, the DGN lib, and a PDF. The DGN lib contains cells that you can kind of play with, but I have my own cell library. It's called trees.cel and these cells are in that cell library. You notice the names here, these lined up with the names that were in the CSV file. Now we have a number of options that we can use here, but the first one is place record specified cell. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to use that column called tree name that had names in it, and we're gonna line them up or have it place these cells based upon that column. We could do other things like use shared cells, use annotation scale, cell scale, things like that. We're just going to be demonstrating this first one. So I need to choose one cell. You can see it's a very beautiful looking cell there. It's quite nice. And then I'm going to click select default cell and continue. I'm going to get another field over here, specified cell. So it's looking for me to tell it which one of these columns goes there. Now, if you name your header rows, as they come across, the VBA can automatically map them if, if possible. So there's a little button down here that says click here to automatically map fields. You can see here my X went to the X and Y went to the Y, but this showed up as red. It tells me caution, imprecise match. If I'm not sure about this, I can just literally drag and drop and it changes to black. Now I'm sure that it's going to be right. Now I am using northing and easting. There is a settings button here on the top right. There's two checkboxes at the top. First one is input file has header row. As I mentioned, 
Always a good idea to have a header row, makes everything easier. Secondly, there's a checkbox, which we're not checking. It says coordinates are in latitude, longitude, and elevation. We are doing northing and easting. If you're doing longitude and latitude, you can check this box, and then you could use those coordinate systems. So we don't need to, so we're gonna hit done. We've met all the requirements. Next thing to do is hit place. This may take a moment. I may jump ahead in the video, but I'll let you know how long it took. Clicking place now. You now see the cells coming in. It took about 20 seconds. There's over 120 cells that was placing, and these cells are, are fairly elaborate, so they're pretty nice. If I zoom in, you can see if I hover over each one of the cells, it tells me this was a red oak. If I hover over this one, it tells me it's also a red oak. If I go to this one, that's a white oak. So each one of those cells was mapped by that CSV file looking at the cell library. And I'm gonna close my import points. And just as an added bonus, I'm gonna to go to my analyze tab. I'm gonna to go to reports. And I created a report just for this little demo. It's called tree report. If I select it, expand this out, you can see I have a couple of columns. I'm gonna do a quick preview. It counts up the cells. It shows me the cell names. And then it also gives me a total quantity. Just a quick little report. Reports are awesome. You'll see more of those later on in some of these other videos. For now, that's it.